A new decade for me on October the 5th. I've turned 30. And also quartz something which we've all seen on the news for four years unless you've been living under a rock. So, if my voice sounds even deeper than usual, it's simply because I caught something which um, we will not name on YouTube, otherwise we will get a big bulletin board. But over video, give you information about it. But you know what I mean. Your pet rock knows what I'm talking about. Oh, and also we're doing Sub Commander 2 Mega Pops today. This, I feel, should be easier than Preemptive Strike 2 Mega Pops. Although we're still going to be using the same hero for support as we did with the Preemptive Strike 2 Mega Pops. And that is Brickle. And that's simply because she is very good paired with other naval towers. Been told by my boss's boss that I cannot go into work at all until I've had a negative test. And speaking of negative, there's one lonely little red bloom. There's a, well, two of them are about to escape. Yeah, we need to do something about that, don't we? As of the time of this recording, it is October the 5th. Unless it, you're in New Zealand or anything like that, then it will be October the 5th. And if it's still up, then why have you not gone to bed, Sam? I'm just assuming that there's somebody watching my video that begins with the name Sam and ends with Sam. Yosemite Sam, Looney Tunes. Anyways, let's get back to the video at hand here. So this is going to be our sub commander submarine here. And unlike our preemptive strike, we're not going to be using a preemptive strike for support. No, we're going to be dealing with this issue. So yeah, I can't go back to work until I have a negative test and that is fine by me because my my actual boss said as long as you're feeling okay then you can come back in but my boss's boss said no, you cannot come in until you have a negative test and test every day to see if you are negative which I think is probably the more... Um, the more, what do you would call it, a uh, responsible decision to make out of that current circumstance. Because even though I wear a mask and wash my hands frequently, you can only minimize the risk so much of you being able to give it to other people. So yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, if your name is Sam and you're in New Zealand, still up, 5.30, whatever it is, and please, by all means, go to bed. Do you see the sun where you are? <laughs> Uh, and I've completely forgot to put Brickle down and I've lost a bit of leveling up with Brickle. So that's just great, isn't it? But at least she is on deck. Right, we're going to give you twin guns and I'm going to think about upgrading you to a 320 because we're going to have a few issues when it comes to lead balloons early on in the game. Like we could rely on just Brickle's as sea mines. But I'd rather not rely on a limited time thing like those in order to pop all of the leads. And also there's a chance of fact that they could just escape and go to the other side. So that is not on my to-do list. But I've got ourselves some motion support so we don't have to worry about camos. If we just had Geraldo then obviously we can just put an invisibility potion on. But I'd rather not always rely on Geraldo for support because Geraldo is the tower to go to or the hero to go to when it comes to support of other things because well he's just too good when it comes to support and all that jazz really a red balloon again that's the second time this happened in this video this time let's let you have well be unsubmerged and then we go from there i normally talk gobbledygook when it comes to my dialogue at times but i think today is just going to be that case just times 10 unfortunately uh i feel diabolical but not diabolical enough to not sit down play some balloons tower defense 6 and make a video that i want to do because i love this game and i do not feel that i am lacking the energy in order to do this in Okay, so we have that, and I hope that with air burst darts and then soon to be triple guns, we will be okay without needing the um, submerged support here for much longer when it comes to its offensive capabilities. We're just going to use it for popping leads, and then that's about it then and there. So we will be going for an MIB so that this thing can pop leads without the reliance of this submerged support or the 
a small chance from the alchemist being able to give it a acidic mixture dip so that they can then pop less. I say small because the rate of fire of this thing is quite absurd. So therefore you're always going to kind of need some consistent means of popping leads in the, in the name of... Oh really? You, you have to do that. You have to do that to me. That is annoying. Orders? Okay, so where are you at? Can you give camera detection? No, that's at level 8. Yeah, pathetic monkeys to hit camera. So I think it's just by chance or anything like that. Which I don't like. If we went bomb path, then maybe we could have gotten away with it. But unfortunately, in this case, it's just not going to be, well, the case. We have one zero zero village down at the moment. And this is going to be our two three zero, then a two four, then possibly even a two five zero. Let's go homeland defense. Let's increase this means attack speed as much as we can. So, what are we when it comes to dealing with everything? Hopefully fine. I don't want this in the range of the uh, village because I don't want it to receive a attack speed boost. All I want you to do really is buff our soon-to-be armor-piercing darts and then followed up by that, our sub-commander. Let's just have a bit of consistency by unsubmerging that then resubmerging it. I'm still not overly happy with our lead means of our advanced intel triple guns here. And I prefer advanced intel over the non-advanced intel path if you pursue that. Simply because of the fact that yes, it's more powerful to have the other cross path. So in this case, it's better to have heat tip darts because of the extra pierce and all that. But what I find is if you um if you don't have the means of advanced intel but you don't have the means of delivering that damage in the first place okay so we will commence fire and increase your attack rate just for them moab but then we will be giving uh more <laughs> more naval tactics later on we'll put this one at submersion support down here as well just so they have a bit more range with the sub commander so that it's able to hit a bit sooner against the balloons but we will obviously as well have some uh, glue gunners on the field so that we will be able to slow down the balloons but also provide additional range for our wonderful sub commander soon to be in order for it to attack balloons because if you have more towers down covering more range of the track it means that this screen is able to essentially have unlimited range and we had ourselves a pink balloon which evaded decamification which is very naughty I mean, it's safe with a 2 2 zero. Sometimes these things are inconsistent when it comes to their um, decamification. Obviously, the best choice is to go for plutonium reactor because anything that is damaged, which is anything that enters this vicinity, is then decamified if it is camified beforehand. So, what am I thinking of now? I'm thinking of a. Uh, I want to go Relentless Glue with Glue Splatter and we're also going to be placing this on the other end as well just so that we have a bit more range when it comes to our fire support for our advanced intel because any other eyes will be captured by this, 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 this anything and everything that is placed on the track Advanced Intel is to be able to use those as its own eyes, rather than just its own eyes, which is this radius that is shown on the screen. Turning 30 and receiving a positive test, yeah, that's a birthday gift I would have just kept to the side and not have whatsoever. Or not even think about, let's just say that. Anyways, round 59, we have ourselves some camo leads to deal with, but I think we'll be able to get through those just fine. We have ourselves a BFB here, but this is pretty good against Moabs. Also does more damage against regular balloons, which is nice as well. So our next objective is to get a overclock, because I really want to increase the fire rate of this even more. The only downside is that we do wear off our acidic mixture dip and stronger stimulant even sooner because of our increased fire rate because of overclock. We will be relying on naval tactics for round 63 though, for our own benefits. Round 63, let's see, let's not activate it immediately. 
whereabouts are we on the round? Yeah, so we've got these lads to deal with. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's just go MIB so we deal with these lads. And we will be using the naval tactics when in there. Lovely. Round 64 is here. Okay, so now we will go for overclock. This is my second time having the you know what theme that everyone's been informed about and had to stay at home for at least a year or even more than that. Uh, this is my second time having it, and the first time I had it was actually on the release week of Pokemon's Legends Arceus. So I was like, well, I have my entertainment material for the next two weeks or so, even though I will feel crap about it. And part of my uh, memories of going through that game was, well, suffering from something which is like a common cold with a stun with a B. But that's the only kind of comparison I can give it to a common cold is that uh, it is like it, but it's just even worse. Ah, uh, funny number round. I'm now round 70. Ah, the funny round I didn't cover enough with commentary, but that's absolutely fine. The funny number can come back. Wait a minute, wrong choice of words there. In another video of sorts, you may never know. Okay, so we've got the money of our overclock now. Now we're going to get Sub Commander once we have a beautiful 27k in the bank. One more thing though before we can just pursue a uh, Sub Commander is we need some regrow uh, villages down so that round 76 and round 79 are not an issue. So we're going to place one over here. We're going to be placing one over here. And I think we're going to be placing one over... Oh dear me, what's this thing covering? A little bit over there and here and there, so... Uh, let's just try and see how we do with just these regrow blockers here. I do need the regrow blockers because round 76 is going to be a menace. And even with the airburst starts part, we're still going to struggle against all of these targets. So... And even with like overclock paired with naval tactics, we're going to struggle a little bit. Okay, I'll feel it. This should have forgotten we had overclocked, so let's just do that then and there. Let's see. Able tactics soon. Very soon. And now. So yeah, with these regrow blockers, we're going to be able to stop them from regrowing. Because there are times where a backmost one is popped, but then that backmost one is grown back from a rainbow to a ceramic. And I don't need to, I don't need to tell you how dangerous it is if they keep regrowing back to their paramost form, which in this case is going to be a ceramic. But in another case, it could just be a rainbow, could be a black, could be a zebra, could be a um, a purple. You may never know. Okay, naval tactics is their lovely jubbly. Oh, this, this, is, this is actually a brilliant run using Alchemist quite near the track because it's only got 27 pops at the moment. The sheer majority of pops we've been getting are from this armor piercing dark submarine. Like, this is definitely easier than Preemptive Strike. I would say that this is possibly the easiest out of the three submarines to get a two mega pops out of. Like, this thing has the rate of fire and it has the power per projectile in order to deal with most targets without needing a huge amount of support but i think this is just the right amount of support at hand like these regrow blockers are going to town when it comes to stopping them from being able to regrow because if we didn't have these these ra these rainbows would be out of control okay naval tactics there lovely and uh, yeah we're all good actually on this round just got these bfb to deal with these fortified ones and that's good very good Round 79. And... Uh, lovely days. Yeah, I think it's lovely days anyways. For me, it's um, it's a mixture of both. I have my 30th birthday today. And I made it the best day that I can under these circumstances. Couldn't really see anybody else outside of the household, really. Because we've all got it. So it's not like I'm trying to avoid anybody in the household when we've all got it. And yeah, but you have your mask on to avoid people so that they don't catch it, but if you've all got it, then it doesn't really make a huge amount of difference. But then there's also the factor of reinfection, which is a possibility, but then your antibodies are supercharged. And the only um, 
I was about to say be any positive, but that's like a pun intended. Be any benefit I could see uh, this is um, Christmas is going to be um, going to be uh, much of a higher chance of not being reinfected. Let's just say that. But then once March comes back around, then that's yeah, not really good. Anyways, I shouldn't really be talking about this sort of stuff, but I like to share what's going on throughout my day-to-day -day basis sometimes. Like, I think in a previous video of mine, like, I talked about work and I was covering for another um, person who wasn't feeling, who isn't feeling well at the moment. And um, I think when it comes to, oh, I forgot about Sub Commander now. I think when it comes to content creators, the one that sticks to you is the one that you resonate with the most. Uh, when it comes to, not like, just like, a green eye to eye and everything, but just one that matches what you want out of a content creator the most. So, uh, you may like somebody who is loud. You may like somebody who is relaxing. For me, it's like, I don't have the energy to be hugely loud, and I'm not talented enough to make my videos stupidly edited to the point where <laughs> you don't even know what's going on in the video, but it's just a random amalgamation of different effects with audio and video and stuff like that so yeah i can make i like to make a few things here and there but that's about it nothing that takes away from the attention of the video in and of itself because i think really context is probably the most important thing within a video what is your video trying to go through and all that jazz also because now we're at a tier 5 tower it means our overclock no longer has a 100 percent uptime but we do have call to arms and it will be a homeland defense. Like, when it comes to other towers, we're pretty much done. Aside, aside homeland defense, I want as much attack speed as I possibly can muster. So that's why I want a homeland defense. If we could afford another overclock, then we can do that. But I don't think we've got the money left over in order to do that with. So, <laughs> imagine a fire rate with all three of these merged together. So overclock, naval tactics, and quarter arms. That'd be brilliant. I don't even know how I've been talking for this long because my voice is even deeper than it normally is. Like pe some people find my deep voice very relaxing or um, able to go to sleep while watching my videos because I'm I'm, like, I'm not too sure how to feel when someone says they go to sleep when watching my videos. I don't take it offensively or anything like that, but when um, when you're able to go to sleep from something that normally should be something that you're looking at, then it's um. It makes me think, oh, am I boring or anything like that? I don't want to be boring. I just got a really bad case of cold flu -itis. I won't say it. See, because of YouTube. There we go. YouTube likes to put a little bulletin board below any video which has the, um, you know what. So it has like a bunch of information about it. You should know about it at this point in time. Like, if you don't know about it already, then what have you been doing in your life? And have you not noticed differences throughout the world? Uh, throughout the past three to four years. Like, life has constantly changed. Uh, mainly for worse. But for some people, it's been a reset, really. When it comes to, like, day-to-day -day activities. Like, sometimes life can be so annoying that... It's the only kind of uh, good thing to come out of an event like this. That people are forced to sit down and consider, like, what's going on with life and stuff like that. Commence fire, indeed. Yeah, this is relaxing. Like, we've had a few rounds here and there that have been bad, but it's been chilled so far. Relaxing. No need to get worked up or anything like that. This has been a very relaxing video so far. Which is why I'm doing something like this rather than, let's say, trying to do Cripple Moab 2 Mega Pops, because. Cripple Team Mega Pops is possibly the hardest out of the snipers, even though per bullet it's the most powerful. Uh, the desired path in which you want to pursue, which is 520, yeah, that's not desirable whatsoever. It's um, it's one of those towers which I seriously want to <laughs> seriously want to just have it on the wall but never look at. Have it on my refrigerator door, but then never open the fridge or even approach the fridge for that matter. Ah, oh, dear me. But there will probably be some people who are like, well, it's, it's it's so easy. How could you not know how to do cripple Moab to make a box? I do it in my sleep with just my little toe operating the keyboard and my other little toe operating the mouse. And uh, what do I say about that? Good on you if you have a talent like that. I don't have that kind of talent, so you do you and I do me. 
Uh, let's just use an able to take us over and get through the rest of those super fortified ceramics. Round 96 is here. Hmm. You know what? Just for my uh, recall, I'm going to put down a, a plutonium reactor so that this thing can um, get its abilities back a bit quicker. We should have done that a bit sooner, actually. But just think about it now. We have it now. Better late than never, they say. So we are 10k away from the elusive homeland defense. Like, I could go like Arctic Zero and a few uh, balloon sabots to just slow down the balloons, but I think this is definitely powerful enough in order to hold its own. Um, I didn't mean to... Hold on. Uh, I pressed the wrong button there and I deployed down a mega mine, and that could be deadly. This is only here to give Brickle a 15% Ability reduction when it comes to its ability to come back. The only thing is, so is that we have we have a reset all of Brickles' voice lines. So if a Moab spawns out, or a BFB spawns out, or a CMG spawns out, or a DZ spawns out, um, it will say those lines. Once it's seen it enough times, it will stop saying those lines, which I'm grateful for Ninja Kiwi. Otherwise, every time we see like a um, a DT pop out and stuff like that is really annoying. Okay, it's sort of like um, when we um, didn't have the option to turn off a voice sound effects for, let's say, uh, banana farms with chickens and stuff like that. <laughs> like that, you could consider it was really annoying in some cases. All right, let's let's combine some things. There we go. Look at that fire rate. Also, look at the amount of time that the Alchemist buffs are on our sub-commander. Very minuscule. Okay, so let's hold off from using the other two abilities now. And let's preserve them for round 98. Let's see. Keep on going. You can do it, little one. You're not so little, are you? You're a tier 5 grown-up tower. And we can do this. 93 pops, still a very small amount. Usually I'm very worried. Let's see, combine that, do that. And we use our naval tactics in a little bit. When our overclockers run out. Okay, I didn't run out, but I'm glad I've done it anyways. Uh, Homeland our defense is soon, but we will be using overclock again. Let's see. 2k away. Yeah, we don't have the money for an over another overclock, but we're here nonetheless. Let's see. Oh, I really do need to use our quarter arms. But I really want to save up for our homeland defense. There we go. Now we have it. Lovely. Now this thing fires even faster. Commence fire indeed. And... Hmm, level 16. Okay. Does it have anything else that can increase the potential of other naval things? No, nah, anything else? Oh, naval tactics affects all waters based towers. Okay, so it just goes to global. That's the only other buff that it gives. Okay, that's good, that's good. And homeland defense. Should I call it this round or just save it for the bad? Yeah, we'll save it for the bad. I think we're. We're good, actually. We're very good. Oh, good. Haha. <laughs> Oh dear, the bad has no idea what's going to come to it. <laughs> God, look at that fire rate. That's beautiful. Look at those pops as well. Thousands per seconds. Per, per millisecond. Okay, that'd be OP actually. Thousands per milliseconds. What are we, a vengeful true sun god? Oh, there we go. And we've got this in the bag. Yeah, that was a really, really... Um, easy two mega pops to do when it comes to different two mega pops like there'll probably other maps where the balloons wouldn't make it uh, uh closer to the end there but honestly with the this map you're able to pay, place uh the sub command in the position or the pm to strike in the other video where um you could put brickle down and it will do minimal pops against balloons that are coming this way and it always acts as support for our um Submarine whenever we use uh, the naval tactics ability, which is what we've got activated alongside Homeland Defense and Overclock. Excuse me. But what other ways could we boost the attack speed? Well, possibly only an ultra boost, but that would be very, very out of our price tags. 
So there is this video, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. And sorry for the low tone throughout the video. No, it's not because I'm lazy that some people put. In this particular scenario, I have something that is a bit more potent than the common cold. And yeah, I have tested and it is positive. So there's a factor there. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what video you'd like to see me do next. Although it's not going to be something stupid with, let's say, I don't know, a Warp Sun Avatar 2TC or anything like that. I'll probably focus on some easier 2TCs or 2MPs just simply because I really don't have the energy to try and exert myself into doing something as insane as like I did with the other day with trying to get Prince of Darkness Adora on Resort. That one, I don't like to think that that was impossible, but it is improbable. Thank you so much for watching and take care of yourselves, everybody.